Piggly guy in Jamaican YouTuber. Pum, 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 pum. Let's go. Piggly guy in Jamaican YouTuber. Eh, eh, eh. Ikima show. Pum, 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 pum. Boah. Yeah, that was kind of stupid. Waste of time intro. Hey guys, what's up? So, um, today, uh, for those who are new to the channel, welcome to my channel. I had a nice little jump last week. I'm now at 2,800 subs. So keep on sharing the videos, guys, liking, commenting, interacting because you guys make the difference. You know what I mean? So, uh, for those who are new to the channel, I teach English in Japan at an Eikaio. Now, at these English conversation schools that I'm at, I teach children only. And for many of them, interacting with a black man is the first time they ever interact with somebody from another country. I need to speak of English. No, I have some really interesting stories and experiences to share with you guys today. And I hope for those who have watched, watched before and will watch, will it enjoy and leave a comment down below. Now, my first story <laughs> comes in my first year when I came to Japan, right? So at my job in the summer, you're allowed to wear, you can wear shorts, right? When it's very hot. So I used to wear shorts and slippers to a particular classroom. And I had about, I had like about maybe 10 students, about between the ages of four and six years old in a particular class. And you know, have on my shorts below my knee, knee length or whatever, they're a bit baggy. And when I stood up, I told over these guys, right? So these girls and boys kept trying to look up my pants. I'm like, what? What are you doing? Like, what, what's the matter with you? And they're like, Sensei Kuroi. I'm like, yes, I'm black. Only there's gonna be dark too. There's no light there. Ain't no damn candlelight service going on down there. So you need to back up and chill. Fine. But then, when I sat down, they used to try and lift up my shorts, legs, and looking and look at my boxes. I'm like, hey guys, come on. You don't want to see what's going on down there. That ain't for you. First of all, you're not my type. You'll never be. You're young. <laughs> I don't want to get deported or shit. I ain't do that. I ain't come here to do that crap. Oh hell no. You know what I mean? I depend on that. So that was a struggle for me adjusting to the fact that, you know, hey, don't wear shorts because kids are gonna wanna see what's up your shorts, you know. Um another thing um, that's happened to me at that particular school. What's that? Alright, so this girl said she wanted to use the bathroom. So I said, okay, go use the bathroom. So I continued to teach a class when she left the door open. I hear something trickling. Oh, that's nice. She's getting in the bathroom. Then I hear this Niagara Falls like something like Brrr. I'm like, okay. So she comes to the door at the edge of the bathroom and looks and looks at me like this. Sensei. And looks down. Homie, she did not make it to the bathroom. What? What? All of her was soaked in her own stuff. And when I mean in her stuff, and Andre had to go up clean it up. Now, here's the thing, especially when you don't speak the language, and at that point, I didn't have enough Japanese, so I had to call for another student, another female student, to come and watch. So first of all, we're trained not to touch the students, because that can be misinterpreted as, you know what I mean, you know what I mean, you know what I mean? Dirty black fire that come try to touch them, girl, them thing on her, no, we don't want to hear that. But like I said, Jamaican, come and touch the baby, and then blah, 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 try whatever, no, no. So, I, so let me show you exactly what I did, I, mean, I don't care, I'm in the public, I don't give a damn. I said, okay, you, you, tissue, tissue, to paper, yourself, okay, you, you, you do it. So she understood that I should wipe up herself or whatever. I was like, okay, good, okay. And I, I made sure there was a witness to see what was going on. Because I don't want to hear that Andre touched a Japanese girl's sushi roll. You know what I mean? Without her permission, and she's young. I would never do that, right? So you have to make sure you cover your own ass. All right, so after that, got her the spare underwear gave her. 
wrapped her in swaddling clothes like the baby Jesus. Well, just wrapped her legs like she was at the beach. I just sat down in the class until her mother came. Mother came and said, oh, thank you, Andre, blah, blah. That girl has loved me ever since because I took care of her. She's one of my favorite students. So yeah, that was kind of meh. Then there's something called uh, my company, and I think all, in all Japanese schools, from the elementary school level all the way to the high school level, something called a sankan, which is where parents come to observe the native teacher's lesson. And even the Japanese teacher sometimes, but parent observations from my company is where is where person the parents or guardians come to watch my lessons to see what is this hype about a native level English speaker who is this Andre sensei who is this wonderful creature from Jamaica who is not as fast as Usain Bolt but is almost as popular in his home city Toyota who is this guy this guy right here you know so <laughs> I had a lesson with 13 students and I spoke in my best trash Japanese to the parents at the beginning of the lesson trying to impress them and yeah it was going good and then the lesson is finishing and then the kids attack me you know what I mean by attack me I had on a pants which was um, which I don't know how to explain it but I had on like a uh, it was not a sweatpants but it was a pants that I could wear in the winter or autumn which kept me warm and I had these pants on and the kids for some reason jumped on my leg and because they jumped on my leg and grabbed it, it started to pull down my pants. So I'm pulling up my pants and the kids are like, oh, but you know, but you know, this is so funny. Uh, Mina, Mina, everybody come, kita, kita, kita. So they call the rest of the 30 students and they attacked me, trying to pull up my pants and lifting up my shirt simultaneously so they could see Andre's belly or whatever else they wanted to see. At this point, I'm like, help me. Kevin Hart voice, help me. Oh my God, I'm going to be the time my kids. Someone help me because I'm about to die right now. So, I'm sorry, it's really dry and it's cold and dry. My lips have to keep licking them. Sorry. And these parents were like, ah, this is so fun. Look at my kids play with this guy. Let me take a picture. And they took pictures. No one helped me. I needed help because they were about to strip me naked right there. And the mothers, especially, were like, mm, well, let's see what's going on. Mm, you know what I mean? I'm like, no. Ladies, you're married, you have your kids, you gotta, you gotta wait your turn. You gotta give me something more than this. I can't have your kids taking off my clothes in the class. You didn't stop. Oh, so that was that. Also, it's <laughs> at, at another Sankan at that school, <laughs> there was a situation where um, some old parents were talking to me and asking me about my country. No, I didn't know. It, you know, Japanese at the time. That was my first year, right? So they said, Shushin wa nandeska. Right? So I thought it sounded like Shujin. Go Shujin, which is Japanese for husband. So I thought, they were asking if I was gay. I'm like, hold on. I don't know you like that for you to be asking these questions. So I was like, no, 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 no. No, no, Shujin janai. I know, ono no kadaiski. I'm like, I like, I love girls. They're like, no, 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 Shushin. Kuni wa I'm like, oh. Oh, my bad, my bad. <laughs> you know, I was like, crap. So I said, you know, she said, she must have, like, I did a rude thing. I'm sorry. She just asked what my country was, but a lot of these, um, in Japanese, they have levels of Japanese, meaning like they have casual and the formal. And then Keigo, which is formal, formal type of Japanese, it's very difficult, if, especially if you're not familiar with the words, you know? So, that was it. So yeah, I embarrassed myself with the parents and the kids, but they seem to like me because they haven't complained about me to leave yet. So I'll just keep my fingers crossed that I continue to do the job, influencing lives. Peace out. Also, let me go to the supermarket. It's so cold outside. One sec. Alright, I'll just yeah, fix up in the supermarket now. Like, I know, you know, as a young boy, you're exploring yourself and you know, learning about you, whatever, but there's an uncanny fascination with penis here in Japan. And for young boys to be, oh, trust me, no, 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 no. It's like, say, sit over your body. 
So I don't know what it was. Yeah. So basically, like you have. <laughs> so one of my classes <laughs> that saved me. So it's like 2014, 2015. There was a, I was teaching a class doing um, target language with them. And we thought they, they throw on a die to each other and ask questions. And when they catch a die, they answer. So, out of my peripherals, I see a hand going up and down really fast below the desk level. I didn't pay it in mind. Then I look across, because the die is coming around to his side, and homeboy's hand is in his pants. The man is moving at the speed of light, wanking it off right to my class. I'm like, Tappy! Like, my Jamaican came out right there. <laughs> like, I was like, Tap, Tap! Like, I said, Stop! What you doing? From that day forward, I did not give that boy a high five. Nope. Not what his hand has been doing. And you know, after that, he's a good boy, bright boy, but oh my god. Woo! Homie was exploring in my class. And I know it was me because Andre doesn't turn on anybody because he's a way. He's scary. Scary guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but John was star, but they were able to my life. I mean, have you had any weird experience with students you have taught? Please share down below. I mean, I have so many more stories, but I don't want to make the video, to make the video too long. So if you have any more stories, but you oh the sun is bright, the light is great. Oh, if you have any more stories uh, or any interesting experiences you've had with students teaching anywhere in the world, please leave in the comments down below. Yes. Oh, one final thing. I don't know why Japanese boys, sorry, I, I, I couldn't leave this out. Japanese boys, besides sir, they must hold down one while the next one a thump up the man poor family jewels. Like, <laughs> in a class, junior high school boys know. One boy hold the boy head down on the ground and the next boy I give him a combo like Martel comeback or a street fighter. Triple combo! Brrrr, I'm like, it, 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 it. And they're laughing. All of them are laughing. Come on. Guys. That ain't funny. Was it, is, that, is it? I don't know. See you in the next video. Piggles the Gaijin. That's off key, hold on. Piggles the Gaijin, Jamaican YouTuber. Because the guy is in Jamaican YouTuber. What? <laughs> About interacting with your students and how it is important for you to make your time a bit more enjoyable.